Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am pretty much sure after watching this video, your all queries regarding the OIST will be solved because today I will discuss in more detail that how you can find a professor and how you can apply according to his or her running project as a PhD, as a research intern or as a postdoc. So basically I divided this video in two parts. In our first part, I will explain how many research fields are available in OIST. And in the second part of this video, I will tell you how you can find the vacant position in a particular professor lab. So let's start the first part of this video. So in first part, I will discuss about the research field and their related units. So I just narrow down the nine research field in OIST because many of the students are always asking me that my research background is the computer science, my research background is mathematics, my research background is this, and my research background is that. So am I eligible or am I qualifiable age um, applicant to apply for this position or not? So your all answer uh, you can find here. So the first field that you can find in OIST is biology. The second field is chemistry. The third one is computer science. The fourth is ecology and evolution. The fifth one is engineering and applied science. The sixth one is marine sciences. The seventh is mathematics. The eighth one is neuroscience. And the last ninth one is physics. So this these are the nine fields that are available in OIST. So uh, in today's part of this video, I will discuss these research fields and their related units. So let's get into, first talk about the biology related unit. So if your background is molecular biology, biochemistry, zoology, botany, or other biology related degree so you can apply to this unit so the first unit that, that you can apply as a biological background is algorithm for ecological and evolution genomics the second one is biodiversity the third is cellular and molecular synaptic the fourth one is cell proliferation and gene editing unit so in this unit um, uh, the, this professor is working on the, some kind of gene editing tools specifically on cancer. So the next one is cell signaling unit. In this unit, the professor is working on the transgenic animals, especially the animal model like, like mouse and hamster and the, the mammal that can easily be handled, not the larger one. Uh, and next one is biological complexity unit, plant epigenetics unit and uh, the cell uh, deviant dynamic unit. So these are not just the eight unit that I listed here. So there are the other unit that you can apply as a biology student. So the next one is chemistry related unit. So in this unit, uh, if your background is related from the biochemical engineering, you can apply to this unit. The second one is spectroscopy unit. So for example, if you are a student and your specialization in some kind of structural chemistry, you can, you can also apply to this spectroscopy unit. The third one is coordination chemistry and catalysis unit. And the fourth one is microscopy unit. So if you are a chemist and you want to know in depth, in depth about the molecular basis of some kind of chemicals, so you can apply to this microscopy unit. So I just listed four unit here, but when you, uh, when you search on Google about the chemistry related unit that I already discussed in my previous video, you may go there and see how you can find uh, one particular research field and their related unit. So you can find not the four, but more than four units related to chemistry. And also, if your background is from the computer science, you can apply to one of these units. So the first one is ecological and evolutionary genomics computational neuroscience, complex fluids and flow unit, gene learning and data science. So as I already discussed, uh, if 
if your background is biology, if your background in chemistry, if your background is mathematics and other. But if you find interest in some other unit which is close to your uh, previous or your current study, you can also apply in that unit if you have some background knowledge regarding to that unit. So for example, in this case of machine learning and data science, if you have a previous knowledge regarding the bioinformatics and uh, algorithm for the DNA sequencing, then you can easily apply to this unit as well. I mean, if you are a student of biology, you can also apply to computer science unit. So this is the beauty of OIS, that it provides a cross-disciplinary um, area of unit that you can apply. So the next is uh, ecology and evolutionary unit. So uh, this unit is basically uh, funded by a, the, the person who won the Nobel Prize in 2022 in the field of physiology. Basically, he is working as an adjoint professor in Okinawa Institute of Science and Technology in Japan. So he is also coming in, in the next month in October 2023 to celebrate the Nobel, Nobel Laureate Month here in OIST. And he will deliver the lecture that how he won the Nobel Prize about his, his working regarding the evolution. So uh, the picture that I depicted here is also uh, from his unit uh, website. So if the student has a background knowledge of ecology and evolutionary, he or she can apply to one of these units that I will show you. So the first unit is complexity science and evolutionary unit. The second is cognitive neurobiotic research unit. The third is evolutionary and synthetic biology. The fourth one is human evolutionary genomics unit. So if you are interested in one of these units, you can apply and you can write your statement, statement of purpose according to one of his units. And now if your background is not from the biological sciences and if your background is, is related from the pure engineering, you can also apply to one of these units. So the first unit in which you, you can apply is engineering material and surface science unit. The second is electronic and quantum magnetism unit, mechanics and materials unit, quantum and, 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 and engineering and design unit. So, uh, the unit that I show here, they are just four. But when you, um, as I, I will attach the link in a description as well, you may check there. Uh, you can you can find a lot of unit in in a particular field. So you can also find a uh, overlapping unit in same field. So for example, if you find the unit in a in a biology related field, you can also find the same unit in a chemistry field as well. So there are a lot of unit in which a student can apply. So the next one is a marine science related unit. So Okinawa, so Okinawa is a kind of the island. It is uh, all covered by uh, the island. It's kind of subtropical, subtropical forest. Okinawa is famous for these kind of coral reefs. So uh, there is a great research that are conducting about the coral reefs in OIST. So the unit that you can apply for the marine science is marine biophysics unit. The second is a marine climate change unit. And also I want to tell you one thing, the picture that I show here uh, is also taken from one of the island in Okinawa. And these are the two scientists who are collecting the sample for doing some research work. So these you can see here in, in, in a bottom, they are the coral reefs. So the third unit is macroevolution unit and the fourth is marine genomics unit. So the next unit is mathematic related unit. So uh, like uh, this is a myth that people consider if, 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 if some student is doing some kind of graduation in a field of mathematics, uh, he or she has no any uh, uh, future projects or some kind of uh, the progress in his or her field and they are only concerned with doing some kind of addition, subtraction and multiplication, etc. But um, you find it interesting that there is a complete field of mathematics and the related unit uh, here in OIST. So the student can apply in, uh, in, in a unit of analysis on metric spaces unit applied topology, representation theory, and algebraic combinators unit, and analysis and partial differential equation. Actually, uh, 
biologists need the mathematician to, to design the algorithm for the storage of data. For example, um, when the human genome project was presented, so there's a great need how to store the large or the vast amount of data uh, in a limited span uh, or in a limited program. So we need the mathematicians each and every time to store our um, uh, every kind of experiment data that we get from experiment basically in, in a kind of molecular, uh, molecular biology based laboratory. So we can't deny the importance of mathematics in our life. So if your uh, background or your interest match with these units, you can also apply to this mathematical um, 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 level of unit. So the next unit you can apply is neuroscience related unit. So it's based on a cognitive neurorobotics research unit, computational neuroscience unit, embodied cognitive science, science unit. So the last one is the physics related unit. So if your field is relating with, um, uh, with the physical chemistry, with the pure physics and with the quantum physics and all the subfield of physics, you can apply to one of these um, research unit. So the first is the astrophysical Big Bang group. The second one is biological physical theory unit. The third one is quantum physics unit and the last one is gravity, quantum geometry and field. As I already discussed and as I already mentioned that these are not just the four or the five or six unit that I already that I discussed in a previous unit. So if you if you find and if you Google these unit related with OIST, you can find a lot of unit related to a particular field. So this is all about and uh, for the first, in a second video, I will, in a second part of this video, I will discuss how you can find the professor and the vacant position that matches snugly your interest. So how you can find. So I will discuss this part in a, uh, in a second video. Um, so for that, please wait. Hope it made sense. Thank you so much.